Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Maher, and this is my first interview doing from Newfoundland and Labrador. I just moved from BC, from Vancouver, so from West Coast to East Coast. And today I have the privilege to interview Mark Anthony Dyson from Chicago. Hi Mark, how are you doing? Great, how are you? Thank you for being here. He's a career advice writer and consultant who loves helping people discover their ideal careers. He's also an award-winning uh, blog, The Voice of Job Seekers, has offered job search advices since 2011. And he also does two live uh, LinkedIn streams. He co-hosts them, The Job Seeker Nation every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, and the Modern Job Search Checklist teams Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. So Mark, thank you for being here. Based on your research, based on your experience, why networking has become so important these days for job seekers? Why networking is a key? Networking has always been a key. Mm -hmm. That hasn't changed since um, probably the beginning of time, uh, when the only way is to talk to another person and to hire them. Ultimately, the goal in networking these days is get as close to a hiring manager as you possibly can so that you can influence that particular person and to cut all the chase of, uh, of uh, trying to follow up with a bunch of people. In most cases, you're going to have to do that anyway, because networking to me is not just networking with the person that refers you, mm -hmm. but also neck it, if you, let's say you refer me. And uh, I just don't want to get just to get to know you. I want to get deeper into the company and that will give me more information about the company or better, even better yet, if I'm trying to get into the industry and I'm changing careers, I want to talk to many people as possible it, who are connected in the industry so that I'll have I'll increase my opportunities. Not always more is better, but deeper is better. Mm -hmm. So the many people who are connected to you, who are hiring, I know I'm going to get connected to more hiring managers. So it's sort of like having a for your kids to have a lot of toys, and th them only playing with one toy, mm -hmm. uh, but they waste all the other toys. It's sort of like that with networking for a lot of people is that they connect with a lot of people, yeah. but not to get to know that one person and the one person that can help move the needle needle deeper because yeah. that way you'll meet more people yeah. who will move the needle. But we know that during COVID time, all the networking events have stopped and most of the events are now virtually via WebEx or via Zoom. And I always tell my clients that when you are attending any webinar, just see who's attending or who are the speakers and reach out to them, make a connection and make an introduction. In that sense, what tips do you have for speakers who are introverts or who are not used to meeting or they don't feel comfortable during a meeting via Zooms? Great question. I love that question. So I would participate in every meeting I possibly can, even if it's just one comment. My experience has been one comment will draw three or four other people who will want to connect with you just because you were brave enough to comment. Mm -hmm. The other part of that is if you don't want to say something, let's say it's a Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. be the person that writes the notes, be mm -hmm. the person that puts the puts the uh, links in the uh, chat, be yeah. the person, be that person so that you're kind of the epicenter of all information mm -hmm. and the resources. So of course, the people are going to then remember you because you helped them tremendously of yeah. a resource that they missed. Yeah, those are great tips, Mark. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Mark a couple of questions, and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So it will be kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share them. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And tune in next time for other great questions with Mark.